Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. It is Friday, December 9th, the year of our Lord, 2022, and I'm praying for you that you'll experience a truly remarkable weekend, that you'll enjoy God's protection and provision over your life. I hope you get some time to unwind and connect deeply with friends and with family and have you a good old weekend. I'm kind of back on my diet pretty strictly these days. Took a couple of weeks off because I was just traveling a bit too much but I'm back at it now. However, I have within my imaginations a bounty coming on tomorrow. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. There is a restaurant here where they have something called Crispy Duck. Oh my goodness. Uh, It's a Chinese restaurant. It's a Crispy Duck. And of course, if you've ever had duck, you know that it's succulent dark meat. But man, if they fricassee it just right, it has a crispy skin on it and they make this orange marmalade sauce. They don't douse the duck. They just spray the duck. Come on, somebody. They know just how to kiss it with a little bit of that orange glaze and they have some fried rice with that stuff. And I'm telling you, it slap your mama good. So I'm thinking crispy duck this weekend. What are you having? I don't know why I even talked about any of that, but I'm excited about some duck. Okay, quack, quack. Let's get on to God's word. It's fruit of Christmas week, Christmas week, Christmas week here at Hope for Today. We're talking about the fruit of the spirit because that's what people in our lives need from us. They need to see the character and nature of Jesus emanating from our lives. And God says, when you put your trust and faith in Jesus, he will indwell his spirit on the inside of you and these fruits shall abound. Let's close on this thought for the week. Paul says he'll give you joy. I grew up in uh, the old school church and uh, we used to sing a song. uh, It was entitled Joy, but it went like this. I got joy, unspeakable joy. I got joy, unspeakable. I got joy, joy, unspeakable joy. I got joy, unspeakable. And boy, those folks will have a good old time talking about the joy of the Lord. What is joy? It's the Greek word kara, C-H-A-R-A, kara. And of course, joy speaks of an eternal delight as opposed to a contemporary delight. And we could go some different places in there, but essentially, when Paul here is speaking of joy, we would do well to understand that Paul's writing this book from prison. My point is this, I doubt he's happy. (laughs) And I don't know anybody who's in jail, who's happy, which already may suggest that when we say joy, we're not talking about happiness. We're talking about something more sure and something more eternal, something more firm, something more potent. Paul is talking about a delight as to what the holy God of Israel is doing in eternity. You see, Paul here is saying that there's a truth about the believer that can reflect upon the eternal assurance of delight in Christ forever and ever that will help me deal with the contemporary disruptions of my life. That's true joy. You see, joy is not based on what's happening. Joy is based on what has happened. Happiness is based on happenings. If I got money, I'm happy. If I got kids that are finally making some sense, I'm happy. If my wife likes me, I'm happy. But see, Happiness is on happenings, but joy is on what has happened. He saved me. He died for me. He's coming again for me. See, happiness is looking at what's going on now. Joy is looking at what went on back then and what's going on on tomorrow. And as long as my yesterday and my tomorrow is based on what Jesus is doing, whatever it is I'm going through today, I can get through because of the joy of the Holy Spirit. I'm a nervous flyer and I'm not going to talk about all that, but I'm a nervous flyer. I have to have a window seat. Have to. Because when turbulence comes and I get freaked out, it's something about the assurance of looking out the window that brings me peace when I can't handle what's going on in the plane. That's joy. You see, what's happening is when the turbulence is on my plane, I look outside to the window because the window gives me a bigger picture as to what's going on than the little picture that I'm trapped in in that moment. Paul says that's joy. Joy is how the spirit helps you to focus on the bigger picture of what has happened and what will happen to help you deal with the turbulence of your day right now. And I'm praying that it will be a truly joyous weekend for you as you consider the bigger picture of what Jesus has done and will do in your life.
That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.